In today's project, I'm going to show you exactly how I built this massive floating TV unit. Hey everyone, my name is Greg and welcome back to the channel. Just like any other project, we're going to start at the drawing board. I had this specific design in my mind for quite a while now and I did confirm this design with my client, they liked it and we continued with the build. I'm going to use a full sheet MDF board for this project. And I'm going to start off by marking exactly on my MDF sheet exactly where all the floating shelves, my smaller floating shelves, the big hall for the TV and my three door cupboard on my MDF sheet. One of the previous videos I made on my YouTube channel, I designed and built more or less the same TV unit. Make sure to go and check it out. Maybe you can pick up some extra tips there to build your own TV unit. I am going to leave a link now. Please go and check it out. So this is basically how it's going to look when I'm done doing all my markings on my MDF sheet. Now we're going to start by cutting a big hole in the center of this MDF sheet where my TV bracket is going to be fastened against the wall and I'm going to start off by drilling four holes in my TV bracket area with a spade bit. The four holes I'm going to drill inside my MDF sheet where my TV is going to be these holes are just so that my jigsaw blade can go inside and I can cut out my square easy. When I'm cutting with my jigsaw I'm obviously cutting freehand, making sure I'm not cutting exactly on the line I marked. I'm just cutting next to the line. I'm going to explain this in the steps that follow. I'm going to add another MDF strip right around at the back of my TV unit. This is just so that you have the illusion that this is a thick TV unit. Now I'm also going to add the exact same strips around the hole I cut for the TV unit. Now I'm using some wood glue and then I'm going to fasten my strips with a nail gun. Now the strips I'm adding around the hole for the TV unit, I'm making sure these strips I'm fastening exactly on the line I marked for my TV unit. Now the top MDF strip I just fastened going to use this as a guide and use my router and my flush trim bit so I can cut the outside edge of my MDF board I previously cut with my jigsaw now I can cut it 100% straight. Now we're moving on to the next step. I'm going to cut the beams that's going to carry the weight for my TV unit. I'm going to use pine beams the one question I receive the most is how do I fasten my massive TV unit to the wall? We're going to use a French cleat system and I'm going to show exactly in this video how a French cleat system is going to work and if you still don't understand you can go and google it, it's really really easy. I'm going to cut a small square out of my pine beams and you're going to need four pine beams for this project and you need to repeat this process with all of them. This is basically how a French cleat system is going to work. I'm going to fasten one pine beam at the back of my TV unit and the other pine beam I'm going to fasten against the wall. Then my TV unit is just basically going to slide in onto my pine beams. This is one of the reasons why I marked out everything previously. I'm going to fasten my pine beams and you need to make sure you're not going to be fastening it in the way where your floating shelves are going to be. Now 
Now this bracket I'm showing on the video here is basically going to be fastened against the wall and then my TV unit is just going to slide in. Now I'm going to turn the TV unit around then we're going to start at the front of my unit. So for this specific project I used Giyad wood it was 50 millimeters thick and I asked my local supplier to cut 5 millimeter strips for me. I came back to my shop, I routed all the edges on my keyard strips and I applied my strips on my TV unit with some wood glue and a nail gun. Now I did decide to cut them at random lengths so I don't sit with the exact same pattern on the front of my unit. all my strips has been applied all the overhanging strips on my unit I'm going to use my router with a flush trim bit to cut all the strips off repeating this process right around my unit and on the inside box I cut for my TV if you are new around here and you'd like what you see and you want to support the channel and learn more how to DIY, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you already subscribed, make sure you like this video. And if you really want to support the channel, make sure you share this video. It's honestly going to help me to grow my YouTube channel and to help me to produce future content. Now we're going to move on by cutting all our floating shelves and my three door floating cupboard. going to start off by building an outer box for my three door floating unit by using some wood glue and some really long wood screws making sure you clamp all your pieces of wood together and then screw your wood together now these holes the screws made I did come afterwards close them up by using some sawdust and some wood glue I mixed together apply it inside the hole and then come and sandpaper it afterwards on the top of this unit I decided to cut a very big hole. This is just basically if my client has some appliances he wants to put on top of this unit the cables will have a path to go through. Just giving it a small chamfer afterwards. On the inside of my three door floating unit I decided to put two small wooden partitions also applying the same big hole at the back of this unit if my client maybe has a wi-fi router or something you want to put inside the cupboard the cables will be able to run through to the separate apartments now we're moving on to the sanding part of this video and i'm not going to show you my complete seven hours of sanding I'm just going to give you a quick rundown i started off with 120 grit then i moved to 150 grit and then I finished my unit off with 180 grit sandpaper. And I also decided to give my three door floating unit and all my floating shelf a nice small chamfer. It's just going to give me a nice smooth clean look. My client specifically requested that the three doors we're going to install has to be lockable. And I'm just going to use my spade bit, drill three holes inside my three doors and also going to finish it off with a small chamfer right around. 
Now I'm just adding a small groove on the inside unit so my unit will be able to lock. Now just checking if everything fits and it's sitting perfectly. Now I'm going to place the floating shelves exactly in the position they're going to be including my floating unit. And this is basically the setup and design I discussed with my client and this is going to be the final look. Now we're going to move on by fastening our floating shelves to our TV unit. And as you can see I marked out with some masking tape and then I'm going to drill two holes from the top of this unit. I'm going to place my floating shelves over the holes, mark it from the bottom, hold my floating shelf in place drill two small holes from the bottom of my unit into my floating shelf and then I'm going to use these bolts you see at the bottom of the video to screw my floating shelves to my unit. I'm using this method for all my floating shelves except my floating unit. For my three door floating unit I'm going to install the steel L brackets at the back of my unit. This is just because the unit itself already is very heavy to install. I'm going to install my TV unit on my client's wall, then we're coming afterwards to install my three door floating unit onto my big TV unit we just built. Placing my three door floating unit on top of my TV unit, then I'm going to pre-drill all my holes so when I get to site I know exactly where my TV unit needs to sit. Now the other question I also receive a lot is why didn't I record the installation process? Honestly speaking, I'm not going to sit in my client's house recording myself installing this TV unit. It's honestly just weird. So for this specific project, I'm going to use a spray on varnish. This is just because this is a very large scale project. I'm not going to apply the varnish by hand. Spray on is going to save me a lot of time and a lot of money. So once I apply my spray on varnish, I'm coming afterwards just to give it a small rub in the direction of the wood. And this is just going to give me a much smoother finish. Now I'm just going to apply all the accessories on my front panels. I'm going to install the lock, the front handles, the hinges and a small chain on the inside so when my door is going to open it's not going to fall down all the way. Now remember guys if you have any questions you are more than welcome to ask me in the comments below or if you have any recommendations of how I can build this unit better in the future. And remember, if you learned something today, please give this video a thumbs up. It's going to help this specific video grow and be recommended to other woodworkers on YouTube. And now I'm going to leave you with the final product. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for all the support. See you next week. Cheers.